Hey guys, so I'm going to give my honest opinion about Ben Affleck being the new Batman. I am aware that this was announced a long time ago, back in August 2013, but the main reason why... My iPad almost fell. The main reason why I, I didn't do it is because at that time, I tried doing a video about it. I would do take after take after take, but I just honestly just couldn't put it into words because I was in just such a state of shock. And let's be honest here, none of us had Ben Affleck on our on our top list of being the new Batman. I remember all of us Batman fans were speculating for the longest time who was going to be the new Batman. I remember the top choices, not in order, were Carl, Carl Urban, Michael Fassbender, Josh Brolin, and some people even said Ryan Gosling. I cannot believe that some people said that, but... I respect their opinion. So anyways, my my honest choice choice cho choice choice, sorry, my my number one choice for being the new Batman was Josh Brolin. I just thought that he had that just 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 the attitude down perfectly, the look, the voice, everything just down perfectly. And I am aware that he was approached to be the new Batman but he declined it. So I am at least happy that Warner Brothers asked him. They at least approached him to be the new Batman. He said no, so they went with Ben Affleck. I was so shocked. I remember I found out because of John Ferreira, he posted uh, like this article on Facebook about Ben Affleck being the new Batman. At first I thought, this has to be a rumor, but no, it, it was actually true. Zack Snyder, the director of Man of Steel even said it himself. Yep, Ben Affleck is the new Batman. And if the director of the film is saying that he is Batman, then obviously that means it is true. And I'm going to be honest with you. At first I thought, Ben Affleck? Hell no! Hell no! I thought, you know, his head is just too oval shaped. It's Ben Affleck. What? But after some time, I have had a change of heart. One of the reasons why I think that I thought that way was because the first movie that I ever saw Ben Affleck in was Surviving Christmas. As a matter of fact, the whole family and I saw it at the theater. We all hated it, and I saw that movie as a kid. And as a kid, you like any movie. But even as a kid, I thought... That movie was a piece of garbage, so that really says a lot, just how bad the film really is. So, that kind of left a bad impression on me of Ben Affleck. But that was until I saw Argo. I ga He gained my respect for him. So, yeah. That's kind of why I, I thought that way. No, it's not kind of. It is why. After some time has passed... Yes, it has died down a lot, but you know, it's better to to say my opinion now rather than never. Better late than never. So yeah, I have a change of heart for some pretty good reasons. One, he actually does have the have that have that Bruce Wayne look. He actually does have the chin. And that's one and that's one of the things that really bothered me about people saying that oh Ryan Gosling should be the new Batman. No. In my personal opinion, he doesn't have the Bruce Wayne look. His chin's just too pointy. His voice is just too high pitched and when I think of Bruce Wayne, I just think of like more deeper voice. Ben Affleck's voice may not be too deep, but at least that sounds more like Bruce Wayne than than what Ryan Gosling does. I'm not saying that Ryan Gosling is a bad actor. Um, I have seen Drive. That was a really good movie. Yes, it is a dark film, which is what Batman is, which is one of his personas. But there is more to Batman than just being dark. I know that's like his main persona, one of them. But let's be honest, there is more to it than that. So, I'm probably going to get some hate mail for that, but I'm just being honest with you. I'm sorry that I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. And also, yes, he has done bad films like Daredevil, Surviving Christmas, Geely, tons of others. But let's be honest here, every actor has done, or actor or actress 
has done at least one bad film in their in their film career. Let's be honest here. No, nobody's career in Hollywood is going to be perfect. But that's just how life goes. There is some good and there's some bad. That that's just how it goes, people. So that I think is so that point I think is invalid. And also all of those films came out 10 years ago. Why in the world would they be relevant now, 10 years later? And also, Ben Affleck actually does have talent. If Argo winning Best Picture isn't proof that he has talent, then I don't know what is. If The Town and all of his other directed films being critically acclaimed isn't proof that he has talent, then I don't know what is. Some people will say, oh, those films are just overrated. That's your opinion, buddy. Also, imagine it. Ben Affleck directing solo Batman films. Imagine him directing the Justice League movie. He could be like the, uh, Joss, like the Joss Whedon of DC. Like, like how Joss Whedon is for Marvel. That would be awesome. Because Ben Affleck actually knows what the hell that he's doing when it comes to filmmaking. Unlike some other people that we know of. I'm not going to mention any names, but if you're a film fan like me, you will probably guess as to what some of those names are. So at least that they're giving it to good hands. Also... Think back when Michael Keaton was cast as Batman. People thought, oh, Mr. Mom! But he proved everybody wrong. Since then, if you ask any Batman fan, besides Kevin Conroy, who does the animated films, I am talking about the live-action films. They will either say Christian Bale or Michael, or Michael Keaton. Well, actually, Michael Keaton came first, so... The, or came before, sorry... They'll either say Michael Keaton or Christian Bale. They both said that they're going to be terrible Batmans. Fans and and people said they're going to be terrible. Some people still do think that Christian Bale is terrible because of that voice. But the voice really isn't his fault. So, in my personal opinion, I think that Michael Keaton has been the best live-action Batman we have ever had. But that's just my opinion, and a lot of people will agree with me on that. So, you've been proven wrong before with Michael Keaton and Heath Ledger. People thought that Heath Ledger was going to be a terrible Joker, and it was all because that he was a gay cowboy in Brokeback Mountain. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. That's just being a homophobic, and that's just being a judgmental douchebag. He's an actor. And an actor or actress is supposed to play something that they're in re that they really aren't. So give them a freaking chance. Let the movie studio and the filmmakers make their movie. You're not making it. They are. Let them do their job. And also, I am aware that people have also brought up the point, well, yeah... They proved us wrong, but Val Kilmer and George Clooney sucked ass too. So, Val Kilmer w was okay. But that's debatable. George Clooney, he is a good actor, but it's not his fault that his, that his performance wasn't really all that great. The reason isn't because of George. George actually can do a dark Batman if he wanted to. If his Oscar... Nominations are not proof of that. I don't know what it is for you. It's the movie studio and the director. They wanted to do like a a modern or at the the time a more modern 60s and 1960s Adam West Batman, a more toy a more toyetic Batman. So that's not his fault. He was just doing what he was told. So yeah. I think it's unfair to blame George for that. And also, you can't predict the future. Yeah, it might come true that Ben Affleck is going to suck ass as Batman, which I kind of doubt. 
You can't predict the future. You're not psychic. But yet, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I am trying to be optimistic about Ben Affleck being Batman. I I want him to be a, a good Batman. But yet, I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. Because then that's just going to lead to a, to a severe disappointment. So I'm... So I'm not going to get my hopes up too much, but I'm at least going to give him a chance because that because that's being fair. So anyways, that's my honest opinion on Ben Affleck being Batman. Take care guys. Ben Affleck was the bomb and fat in the Ben Affleck was the bomb and phantoms, yo.